Welcome to the show. You're watching the Fox Business Network. We begin with this. Look at this. Thousands of government workers, cops, firefighters, sanitation workers, city workers went out in force protesting vax mandates in Los Angeles. No jab, no job. Now, the new Biden vaccine mandates, they're exploding into court fights that could end up in the Supreme Court. Joining us now, House Oversight and Reform ranking member, he's Kentucky Congressman James Comer and the author of The Capitalist Comeback, former CKE restaurant CEO Andy Puzder. First to you, Congressman, how can the White House demand businesses proceed anyway with vaccine mandates when the Fifth Court put a temporary block on it? The Fifth Court is saying this raises grave constitutional concerns. Can Biden do this? He, want, he wants all small businesses to be hit with it, too. What do you say? I don't think he can, but obviously he's going to continue to press on. Remember, when he came out with this decision to force businesses with 100 or more employees to uh, vaccinate their employees, that was the dime when he was getting just crucified over the debacle in Afghanistan. And I always believe that he came out with that position to kind of uh, defer the media's attention away from Afghanistan and on to his uh, trying to save America from COVID because he was getting hit every day by the liberal media. But the courts have ruled, uh, as you mentioned, the fifth court, that this is unconstitutional and uh, it's not going to get any better if he appeals that as it goes up the line uh, with these new conservative judges that we have in place. They're not going to allow this because it's unconstitutional. It's against our freedom. It's against our liberty. It's against everything that we stand for. And it's scaring Americans that government is getting more intrusive at a time when we have the biggest labor shortage in my adult lifetime. Yeah, let's stay on, stay on that for a second. Labor shortage. Andy, all this, you know, the president's approval ratings are sinking double digits to new historic lows. USA Today polls that. CNN polls showing nearly half the voters say Biden is doing a bad job. Many don't want to see him run again. He's in real political danger with the middle class, blue collar, rural workers, parents, first responders. These are levels that Trump hit after the Capitol riots. And now Vice President Harris's approval ratings is the worst of any vice president in history. What do you say? Uh, well, I say the Democrats should keep right on doing what they're doing. I love the impact it's having on American voters. Uh, I love what we saw in Virginia. You know, listening to your summary coming into this piece and listening to the congressman speak, you know, you have to wonder if the Democrats were trying to screw things up, if they were trying to mess the country up, I'm not saying they are, but if they were trying, what would they do differently than they're doing today? It seems like every time we turn around, the Democrats are doing something else to alienate American voters, to alienate the American people, to cut back on our freedoms and our liberties and to bring down the economy. So. I think the Democrats are in, in as serious trouble as that USA Today Suffolk poll showed that yeah. the president's approval rating and the vice presidents, which is which are even worse, uh, are reflective of what their policies have brought and about. To Andy's point, Congressman, the constitutional problem is Biden can't do federal government mandates via an executive order. He can't decree the entire country be vaccinated, that people can be you know, pushed out of their jobs for no jab without any alternatives like testing. I know they're dialing back on that now, but there's been no public debate. Where is, the, where is Congress's legislative authority here? The Supreme Court already ruled states have this authority, not central government, not the federal government. And, you know, the Constitution's Equal Protection Clause, about you can't discriminate pe people based on their health status, like workers with AIDS. You can't do that. You're exactly right, and the Democrat leadership in Congress knows this. If this were Donald Trump doing this, they would be having hearings nonstop. But uh, as we've seen thus far, the Democrats aren't interested in providing oversight to the Biden administration. This is another uh, lack of leadership by the Democrats in Congress. This is another example of their, their failed leadership, their failed efforts to try to put some type of common sense, some type of constitutional legislative authority uh, a lot with the Biden administration. And, and they just continue to turn a blind eye to all the mistakes, all the stolen liberties of this Biden administration. Yes, yeah, so we went to 15 days to slow the spread, to botched shutdowns <laughs> that were unconstitutional, to now being fired if you have no jab. I mean, really? I mean, the thing is, what happens to workers if they lose their jobs and then the courts toss out these mandates, Andy? They could end up firing truckers in the middle of a supply chain crisis, firing teachers, nurses, doctors, cops, pilots, firefighters. Well, you know, so what happens if the courts toss the mandates and those people have been fired? Well, I hope the people become Republicans because that's about the only uh, al only alternative they're going to have. You know, the presidency, uh, the executive branch, just like the 
uh, just like the legislative and the judicial branches, are branches with enumerated powers. In other words, they don't just have broad grants of powers. The Constitution grants them very specific powers. And the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is, you know, a, the, the federal courts of appeals are the number two courts in this country. The only court that's of superior to them is the United States Supreme Court. And the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled that he doesn't have the authority yeah. to do this, at least giving the government a chance to respond to the claims that he doesn't. But their inclination is that he doesn't have this authority. Yeah, so the he, thing is, he really needs to back off. And, you know, to Andy's point, Congressman, if the threat is so obvious, why is Biden's fix so coercive and sneaky? Stretching OSHA's emergency rules. It's not that's never been about firing healthy people from their jobs. It's, they're putting unvaccinated healthy workers in the same hazard category as workplaces with no fire alarms or freight electrical cords on wet floors. You know what I mean? So, so there's, there, there is that fight. I mean, so how can he do this by decree? Go ahead. He, he can. And I'm in Paducah, Kentucky right now. I'm meeting with union workers tomorrow. The unions are furious at Biden because this affects federal contractors. It affects employers. Uh, there's a big union footprint in the western part of my district. Unions used to be the biggest backers of the Democrat Party. They are fed up with the Democrat Party. They're fed up with Biden. Uh, they're sick and tired of the mandates. They're sick and tired of the policy. They're sick and tired of inflation. And I just don't know how much longer Joe Biden can continue to come up with these bad policies and expect to have any support in the Democrat Party. Listen, people understand the need to get vaccinated. It's a dangerous virus. It's just how it's they're going about it. It's just right. heavy handed. Congressman James Comer and Andy Puzder, it's been great to have you on. Come back soon.